Hi there. So here's the problem. You may be a data collector and you are going out to collect data at a single location. And you're going to do maybe 10 interviews at that same location. And actually there are a lot of questions that you ask in the beginning of the form or that you have to fill out in the beginning of the form that ask for the same kind of static data. It might be what location you're at, what venue you're at, what your name is. And every time you start a new interview, you've got to input all this same information again and again. So there is a way that you can actually get that to auto fill. So it will take the data that you entered the last time you filled in the form and kind of pre-populate or auto fill those questions. How do you do it? That's what we're going to look at today. So let's jump in. On the screen, you can see that I have my ODK collect. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an example of what I'm talking about. So we enter some data. We get to the end of the form and all we're going to do is say save form and exit. Now, for example, that was my first interview. I now want to go in and do the interview again. And it's blank. All that data I've got to fill in again with exactly the same information. Okay, so what would we prefer happened? Well, let's do this second version, okay? I'm going to say this number two up here. I'm going to enter my data again. I'm going to come to the end of my form. I will save form and exit. Okay. And then I'm going to go to do my second interview, the next interview. When I tap on that form again, this is a new form, but it's actually brought up all of the data that I last submitted. Okay. So I've actually defaulted to today's date, my name, the locations that um, I'm working in and collecting data for the center where I'm doing interviews and even the GPS point if I'm kind of sat in the same uh, building kind of all day doing interviews. So I've just saved all of that. And then you could have the rest of your interview questions that would be very different and you wouldn't want those to default. But um, at the end of that, I can just save form and exit. So I don't have to repeat and enter, repeat the entering of all of that kind of boring data. You know, I, then I can just focus on entering data from the interview. So what are we going to do? Your XLS form and you can go and download this XLS form. I'll put the link in the description below. Just has these few columns here, but we've just added a default column. Okay, so it has a default. And then inside that default, you basically say, uh, your normal um, construct is a dollar sign, open curly bracket. And right inside then, you're just gonna say last dash saved, and then a pound sign or that kind of number sign. And then you put the same name as you're talking about. So for the name of data collector um, name, you go over here and you just enter name of data collector. So the last saved name of data collector, please enter this here as the default. For your date of interview, the last saved date of interview, please put that as your default. So any question that you want the default to be whatever you entered last time you did the interview or the data filling, that's what you kind of refer to and that you put that little construct in, okay? so you know, whatever your variable name is, a closed curly bracket. And that is how you make sure that next time it comes up. A few quick pointers. First of all, this doesn't work with data in repeats. There is another method that you can use to um, bring up repeat data. So whatever your your data in your last repeat was, we can bring that in as a default, but that's a different um, way to do that. So I'll leave a link to that documentation in the description below if that's what you're looking for. Secondly, this isn't gonna work with um, encrypted forms. Thirdly, this kind of works on your phone, right? So whatever data you submit from your phone, that's what it's gonna be able to pull from. But what if you kind of want a refresh? What if you filling it in for the first time or you don't want um, new data, you're starting off new, you don't want new data to be um, kind of coming in. Let's look at the phone again. So if you go into fill blank form and go into that number two last save tutorial where we're bringing up the last saved form. Um, I don't want that data come up anymore. So what I'm going to do is go to delete saved form there at the bottom, click on that. And you can see that I actually have saved forms. Okay. Here and here, those were forms submitted from the last saved tutorial. Okay. So I'm going to delete that old data. Okay. The data I've already submitted. And I'm also just going to quickly delete my blank form. Then when I come back to the main screen, I'm going to get blank form. I'm just going to go and find that form right there, that last save tutorial form. I'm going to get selected. I'll fill that blank form, tap on it. And you can see 
I now have no kind of saved forms, no saved data in my phone. It's a new form, it's re-downloaded again, and now it has nothing to draw from, okay? So um, this doesn't pull from the server, this is pulling directly from data saved on your phone, okay? So that data is now going to all be blank again. So the first time you fill in a form, it'll be blank. And of course, if you kind of delete everything as I just showed you, then it will also be blank. Hopefully that's really helpful. If you enjoyed this kind of tutorial, my name is Jana, I'm from Humanitarian Data Solutions, and we like to put out tutorials to help humanitarians, development workers, and social ent entrepreneurs, people working within the social impact space to understand data collection, data visualization, and and data literacy. If this is you, if you're a practitioner in this field, I'd love it if you join our community, subscribe to the channel, um, give us a thumbs up, and can't wait to see you next time we put out a video. Hope you have a great day. Good luck collecting data. If this was helpful, please leave a comment below. I love to hear how you're using these tips, tricks, uh, and design methodologies uh, in order to make your data collection even better. So good luck, have fun data collecting, and I'll see you next time.